A global crisis takes global leadership. Without the United States leading on a global crisis, no one else is going to do it. Taking these refugees and making them part of a vibrant America by adding to our diversity and being stronger together is actually what's going to increase our chance at you know, assuring our national security. What better way to prove to these young impressionable minds in these refugee camps that America practices what it preaches than by letting in uh, as many Syrian families who are seeking peace, stability, uh, and an opportunity to prosper, the same things all of our families sought when they came to America's shores. We are defined by who we are, and uh, who we are is a country of immigrants. And so it doesn't much matter, you know, what the politics of the day um, are in terms of that basic reality. Historically, refugees in America has been a bipartisan issue. The fact that it has become a political uh, shrieking uh, point in this election year uh, is, uh, is deeply cynical and deeply unfortunate. If we speak to the world and say, this is how we as Americans are treating refugees, this is how we as Americans are treating outsiders, how long do we have as a country that we can stand on that before it turns on us and people are no, no longer willing to fight for this country, no longer willing to stand up for this country? I think it's up to all uh, measured minds and all measured voices whether veteran or civilian, American or Iraqi or Syrian, to push back against that narrative. We come together as an entire community and as leaders and work together to build a coalition of support to say enough is enough with the, the fear mongering and the hatred rhetoric. We're not going to stand for it. Our voice is louder than yours now.